welcome welcome guys to another video about fortnite and fps increasement in fortnite overall so basically i was watching a lot of guides a lot of fps performance increasement videos and all that stuff and we're filtering out what can really help me what will really bring some higher values in fps without even really catching any or also influencing really hard any uh, aspects in my pc or of my pc setup overall and my pc settings because like i said also a lot of people are just in the videos and the comments below uh talking about my pc's black screen my pc just shut down my pc is not working uh drivers fucked me and stuff like that so um it's there like uh, there are a lot of stuff that you need also to consider and filter out and yeah basically it will be mentioned here in this guide and overall i will show you guys what is uh, best working for me and for my setup too so yeah let's start and with also which we will start off uh, will be the mm, my bonus fps pack also credits to Panjos that is um, also a youtuber that is making uh, really great videos about fps increase meeting game so shout out to him for delivering some files i think i know he done some researches also and done some stuff for it so basically you can also check out his videos and watch um the increasement uh fps increasement videos to the games that you are playing also besides fortnite so yeah pretty good channel i recommend it and yeah um part of this video and part of files and uh, stuff that is delivered we're also talking from this channel so yeah we will start off with our config uh, so we have here also two folders for super low graphics boost so it, it's really like for lower npcs with like an i3 i5 older processors that you're using already from 2014 15 you know older pc setups that you are not like upgrading at the moment your pc and uh, you can use then this file you have in uh, this folder is also two files that you need to copy and put in into um your pc c folder uh, where your fortnite is located so you go into my business pc local disk c program files or program files x86 um, it depends like where your epic games folder is stored and when you will where you will see fortnite game so it, as you see like here uh, we can find it we go into program files and we will see epic games again fortnite fortnite game binaris win64 and we scroll down into our uh, fortnite client so you go into your uh, right click sorry for that you go into right click on fortnite uh, client properties uh, you will see uh, the compatibility tab so basically uh i had some issues with the compatibility overall of fortnite so i'm running the program in computer mode for windows 8 basically you don't need to uh, turn it on it's only because my pc was not working with it's fine so this should be by you guys turned off <coughs> by me it's turned on basically you go into change settings for all users and you put in here also run this program as an administrator that's the only mark you need to do i saw in various guides that someone is suggesting disable full screen optimizations or someone is uh, suggesting override high dpi scaling behavior but actually i researched and saw on the forums from off official like microsoft support and i'm also working in an it department and overall in an it support company so basically this stuff is not really influencing anything or boosting anything so you can just run the program as administrator or just even leave it without running this program as administrator depending in you guys i recommend to use it but it also depends if you're streaming you need also for example streamlabs obs or obs studio to also run it in administrator if you're using a streaming program for example or recording program to record the gameplay or stream it but basically you can leave it uh, unchecked but i recommend to check it if you want to work it fine without errors so basically that's it what we will do here apply okay and you're good to go so uh, the next thing also that we will go in is app data. So we go under in the Windows uh, uh, search tab. We write in um, app data percent from both sides. Heading a bit, but yeah. Uh, we get the folder, double click it. We got the folder roaming. We click back to app data and go into local. 
here we will see our Fortnite game also and also Epic Games Launcher. We click on Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client. And here we will see our two files that we also were copying before we entered our Fortnite setup overall. So we have these two files and here also we will delete this ones. I will not delete it because it's already set up by me. So you'll basically delete, hit delete these two files. After that you will just drag these two files down into this folder and leave it there that's it after that you will also uh, go for um, your another setting and that setting will be uh, ms config called we'll write in here and we will see we will get here an search result that is system configuration code so basically what we have here is a general boot service startup we will start off with general and uh, like if you have normal startup you can use that it's okay but i would also try and recommend to do the load systems like selective startup load system services and load startup items and click apply okay in the boot tab you will go for no ju uh, ui boot zero timeout advanced options Ah, it's a, that's a bit too weird. Wait a sec. Oh, it's saying three. Okay, then three seconds, you know, the default one. <laughs> Don't know why it was by zero by me, but yeah. Three seconds here in timeout, no gear boot. You go into advanced options. You see here a field that is like number of processors calling. You mark that, check it out, uh, check it. And you will choose here the number of processors they're using. I have four cores, so I, I will basically mark four. And that's it. For example, if you will have eight, use the eight. If you have two, use only two. And so on. And even if you have 12, use all 12. And that's how it works. How it works. Um, then okay. And we're good. After that, we go into services. We click hide all Microsoft services. And here we will choose what service we want to run and what not. So basically we will go for um to mark like for example by my side you will un unmark google update services other programs that you're not necessary to need uh, my other services like my antivirus so for example that is marked and we display you leave it here uh, team weaver for example you can unmark you will have their skype um and other programs that are using when it's uh, starting you know like discord teamspeak you can uh, uncheck it, it depends on you guys, but uh, overall this is what I have and I just recommend to uncheck everything that is really not necessary. You will have there some Intel driver storage stuff and stuff like that. Stuff like Intel or Asus or other like system stuff that you know that it can be really uh, related to system stuff. You don't need to uh, mark them or don't need to uncheck them. You can leave them, but like default programs you know that you installed. Uh, instead like um, I would say like some launchers steam launcher skype and stuff like that so on you can uncheck that and that should be good torrent also for example so yeah that's about it and let's go then into click for sure apply okay and that, that is good then you go for startup uh, basically you will open your task manager I will drag him here into so it will open your task manager tab and you go into your startup items that are getting started when you just open like just you hit the power button of your computer and it's booting so what you will get also in the desktop and here in the bottom corner when your pc is starting so you will get here uh, for example steam skype discord as you see here teamspeak um utorrent other default programs that you're using and you can also disable stuff like here um steam client you can disable for example, a uh, Discord. It's enabled by me, but you can also disable it when if you don't really uh, use that often. Discord, but actually, a lot of people are using it, so you can leave it also enabled. Um, Adobe Updater startup abilities that you can uncheck. Uh, everything that is like really an updater called or update, you can really uncheck that because it's not really needed. You see, that's the items that I'm using, and that's I don't need more. 
So, um, Windows Defender is by me disabled because I have an antivirus. But if you don't have an antivirus or you have like something like AVG, a bus antivirus, you can, um, you don't need to disable it, you can leave it on. But like, if you're actually only gaming or you're only playing the game, so basically you're not using your web browser besides that, you can basically uh, also disable your antiviruses to don't start or just close them because it's not really needed and it can really influence the performance of your PC. That's really important. And how to close them? and stuff like that um, it depends really on the program there are a lot of programs or antiviruses that are a bit hard to exit or to close so basically you can maybe uninstall them or really try to uh, just play with it then because like it's hard and it really depends on the antivirus that you're using um, after that we will go into the, our next step and our next step will be um, our power options so you go into You'll write here in the search box power options. And you will get here power and sleep settings, for example. Go into them. And you will have here rela rela uh, related settings, additional power settings. You click this. You, go, you will get here your uh, performance plans that are currently used. Most likely, um, you will get balanced, marked. And you will need to uh, hit this button because you will have here balanced and maybe power saver. So you will go and hit this to have here high performance. Because like high performance is already used by me because that's why it's at the, at the moment here on the top. But, but by most users you will really have it under it, under here. So basically you will turn it up, go into high performance market. And also you will hit this change plan settings button. You will, for example, also if you don't want your screen to get sleep and stuff like that, uh, you can basically check this to never. And you will also be hit. You will be hitting change advanced power settings. And here you will have the options of this plan. Um, you can make it a bit brighter, I think, or not. Okay, it's not working. So you will set an, setting up like hard disk. Turn off hard disk after zero. Then you will go into um, Rise Adapter Settings, Power Saving Modes, and you will also hit the settings here with Maximum Performance. Um, that's good. Uh, then you will always you can click Apply, at least so it will be applied. So don't forget to do that or do it in the end when you set it up everything. You go into PCI Express also here, you uh, turn it off. You have USB selective span setting, it's enabled, that's okay. Processor power manage, that's, this is the really most important thing in this uh, plan and the settings. You go into process performance uh, core parting, that's my menu, you don't will have this. You will have here minimum processor state. You will hit 100%. System call, pooling policy will be active, you change that to active. And also maximum processor state will be also 100. This is how you will get the most performance out of your processor at the moment. And you will hit apply for sure. And after that you go OK. That's basically the settings you need to hit here. Hard disk. Wireless adapter settings. Uh, link state power management off, in off. And the minimum processor state. Active cooling and maximum processor state. And you hit OK. That's how your power options should be set it up. So, um, also we have a lot of Windows stuff that we can actually um, tweak and do. But basically what I will suggest you go just into all the stuff that you have here and you will try to turn off any anything that is not needed really here. Remote uh, remote adapter um, in here like typing, spelling, all that stuff. You can turn it off. As you see like you can later like do it in a slow-mo. I will just quickly go into my tab buttons and you can uh, put on YouTube the video into 0.25 speed. And you will see what is turned on and what is turned off. I will quickly just click on everything that I have here. Background color, you can use a solid color. At the moment I have like an animated wallpaper. But it's only for visual um, efficiency. efficiency. And yeah, it looks just good. But overall, when I'm starting playing, I will just turn off the wallpaper stuff. And I will change the background to solid color. You just change it to normal solid color. You hit that. And you will choose the background colors that you want. You can basically choose whatever you need. So without the program, it will be like this. Just basic. And it will also just a bit uh, give your PC a better performance. Colors, uh, lock screen, themes, start. 
In the start, there's nothing to tweak. Like the taskbar, it's also nothing really you can tweak here. So you go for apps, for example. There's There are a lot of important stuff that you can do. Um, you can turn off music, music groove. It's not needed. Video playback also off everything here. Counts, uh, nothing here that is needed. Time language, also nothing really here. Gaming, that's really important. Um, if you're not really, if you will want to stream, you don't uh, click anything here. You will just leave everything here off. But if you're only playing one game without streaming or recording it, you, I can also suggest to use here, uh, turn it on and use the Windows G button in the game. And basically you can perform a bit tweak a bit and make the game a bit like better responsive but overall i don't see really a big difference maybe 5 fps in it to use this game bar thing so basically if you want to stream just turn it off and leave it off but if you want to play only one game without streaming and recording you can really try out this game mode that is here and you can really activate it while playing and see what will be the uh, FPS uh, difference. You hit the Windows plus G button and there will be like a menu triggering in your game. And you can uh, set their optimized settings for the game. Um, after that we have ease of access. That is really important here to turn it everything off. Narrator. Everything is here off by me as you see. And I'm good with that. Um, follow here. Some options are marked so you can also use that and uh, visual options play animations in windows you can turn the windows animations off actually so show windows background that's it what you need mm, then we go and move on to privacy privacy is really important you can change everything off in privacy location also location services off camera off if you're not using like a webcam, you like the webcam will be automatically detected most of the time. So you don't really need to let apps use your camera hardware. Uh, hardware. Microphone is okay to use, but you actually switch everything here off. Notifications also off. Apps account info off. Contact history also off. Like basically everything here. It's even loading. All that info everything is off as you see by me so i don't need anything of this really apps and i think you also if you're just gaming mm, after that we can go for update security here we can yeah you see device is at risk because i uninstalled the update but you don't care about it the pc is working fine if you're already uh, if you're already updating all this all the time your windows so keep updating it but actually the new updates in Windows fucked the performance or made the performance lower of actually my my PC when I just installed Windows and I was really backing up my whole PC to get like the updates uninstalled. So to have the maximum performance. So basically if you're updated already and you're updating it every month, keep doing it. But if you don't done it, so don't even try to update it again. Until you will not have like maybe a com compatibility issue, a game will not work or stuff like that. If you have issues with that, try to update the game or the windows so the game will also work. Sometimes it helps. But not, 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 uh, you know, not sure. Uh, you have also then the last thing, search, language permissions. I think there's nothing really important here that you can uncheck. Yeah, it's not even loading. I don't know. Windows is just saying, I don't really like to go into settings <laughs> to let you in my settings. Windows Cloud Search off. My device history is also off. Everything is here off. As you see. So this was, uh, this were the Windows settings. Now we'll go uh, move on into our PC. Uh, that's actually just my folders that I was al had already opened. We go into this PC again. We click right, cl right click on our this PC properties. Then you will go into advanced system settings. You hit performance settings. And you will see here a tab that is calling visual effects. And what do you need to hit here is adjust for best performance. I have it on custom because um, actually also what I um, recommend for you also guys to use to show thumbnails instead of icons. So basically if you go in your folders you can see the preview pictures example if we go here you see you will see the pictures actually 
So because if you uncheck it, it will be no pictures, and you will say you will be saying like, "What the hell is happening? Where are my thumbnails? They're gone." So basically, it leaves this on, but everything else is unchecked. So adjust for best performance and only check back the show shop thumbnails and set of icons. Then hit apply. Then you will move on into advanced. You will go into virtual memory, and you will go here. And first is that you will do you will hit this no paging file set it. And after that, you will go back, reboot your PC and go into here. Like, you don't even need to reboot. You just go into your disk drive C, you un uncheck this, and you hit system manage size and set. And the, the system will manage by himself what is the best for your PC, and it should be enough. As you see, I have, for example, two 400 megabyte for my page file size of my virtual memory. <coughs> it's for my C. It's like the drive where I'm using my games. For example, you can also choose it for disk D, but I'm actually like really preferring or would recommend only to do it on C. But if you have also games on D, a lot of games uh, that are located, you can also hit the system managed thing for also your D local disk D and E and all the disks that you have. Are this, yeah, is it you're using with your PC. And you, as you see, your changes um, might need to um, require a restart. So basically to take effect, you will also be rebooting after that, or you can reboot later also. And uh, that's about the performance things that we have. And yeah, it's asking me for reboot. I don't need that. So uh, we will move on also into um, again into our folder with Fortnite FPS. So what we will have here is on park CPU. I already installed it. You can uh, run it from your also from this uh, from this folder. And what you you will have here, it will load a bit longer. Uh, that's a tool to unpark your parked CPU cores. So basically, um, if you will see here that some of your cores, I have four cores. For example, you have eight, and some of them are not enabled, or or if you have four and there are only two enabled, it means that your uh, PCs are or your CPU is not unparked. So basically, you need uh, CPU fre uh, frequency scaling. You need two frequency scaling endings to hit 100, and also go into core parking index and hit it to zero, and click apply. It will also help you to um, unpark your CPU cores. Then we will have here also um, CSS, CC Cleaner setup. The CC Cleaner setup is also important for your PC overall, so just uh, manage and clean it qu quickly, you know, some cache files and stuff like that. But basically, you will go into your programs. Um, I don't have in it even installed, I think. Yeah, right. So basically, I think I will install with you it, guys. Let me check quickly if I don't have it really. Yeah, I don't have it installed at the moment. I didn't use it because it's basically a new Windows. But for your PC, it will be really helpful. So basically, we'll go and install CC Cleaner. Stimma size, um, I would say this here. Install and run cleaner. Um, if you like it saying a new update, you can update and go onto the website update it. I will hit no. You can run now CC Cleaner. Also, it's really important to uncheck in your really browser cookies. So it will not delete your passwords and all that stuff. So it will only delete your internet histories that you were browsing, internet cache, download history, and last download location. I would say even download history only. That's it. And any other things, you can leave it as it is. Cookies for Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer are not needed. And you can basically hit run CC Cleaner. And yeah, do not show this message again and go. It needs to close my um, Google Chrome. Let's do it. And now it's removed. As you see, it removed six gigabyte of cache by me. That's really a lot. I'm even me using uh, just like for a week or two the uh, system. You see, it will really, really cache out a lot of files for you. Registry, scan for issues. It will scan all issues that happened on your PC. And then when it's finished, fix select issue, uh, selected issues. Do you want to backup? No. Fix all selected issues and you're good. 140 things are fixed. Beautiful. And now you can just close CC Cleaner and you're good to go. 
So the last thing that you will tweak is actually the game settings and the Fortnite settings. You will go again into your Fortnite FPS. You go into launch options and you will copy this high and use a variable, all of variable scores, uh, comments. These comments are used for Epic Games Launcher. I will basically start it now. And you will put that in into options that you will see just now here settings Adi you will hit this like here additional comment lines and you will hit here high and use a variable all of variable course why is there no like no one sky or anti analysis like that are other people on youtube recommending because it doesn't make anything i tested the comments out it doesn't really change anything maybe on the low really low end pcs for like that are five six years old maybe but i didn't solve any difference and only these two comments really worked great for me so use these two comments put it in and you can basically go back and after that you can launch the game that we will be uh, that we will also do and we will quickly launch into our uh, into, into our game and i will quickly show you guys what you need also to set up in in your game basically because when you will boot your your game uh you will have actually an option for like your options will be changed in the video graphics and i will also uh, explain you guys what you need to quickly tweak and change there also There we go. Go into P Battle Royale. You go into settings. That's also my smooth account, by the way. Don't think I'm like low level or stuff like that. Not playing the game. Actually, it's only my second account. So yeah, you will go into your video settings. You will have here window full screen. So you will check that back to full screen. Uh, display resolution depends what display you're using. If it's like a small monitor, 720p. If it's a big monitor, you can use the full resolution that you have. Rate, uh, frame rate limit depends like on your PC if it's like man if you see like in game is that you are having 60 FPS then limited like for example to 61 and 20 if you see it's higher than 120 go unlimited so you have the maximum FPS that is possible in the settings I actually recommend using uh, 3D resolution 720p or for 1080p for better PCs View distance will be medium, you don't need really far epic, that's not really needed. Near is also a thing you can await, so basically be on medium. Then put it on off, low, 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 low. We think off, important, motion blur also off, and show FPS on. So that's basically the settings you need to get into video, and you should be good. Also a thing that I recommend is also quality of audio. Put it, it will be by default on high, put it on low. It will be not really a that big difference, but at least it will also give some FPS and some frames in the game. And you hit apply after that and you should be good to go. That's about Fortnite, we can go out of it. And the last things that we can tweak are rec um, is like rec edit, rec edit, sorry for misspelling it. And also again we will go into app data. And we will see here an updater again a local and we need to search for the folder temp. So temp is a folder that is uh, overall uh, storing some unnecessary files and overall on the PC that is happening and cache. So you will hit Ctrl A or you will just mark with your mouse everything here and you will hit delete. And for example, if it will show up like you can't delete this, you will just mark this field, do this for all current items, and skip for all the current file uh, for all the current things. And again, skip. And it will delete everything, and you will see how much it deleted really from your PC. Because you can actually, before you will delete it, you can go just into properties of temp and see what size it will be. So also you will see there from for example maybe 6 GB, 10 GB, 15 GB and when you will delete all the files in here you will see a big difference. And it's actually just unnecessary stuff and files that the PC don't need and there's it's getting stored here. So basically we done everything. The last thing we will do quickly is record it. We will go into record it and run it as administrator. 
we will hit hk local machine then we go into software then we will hit microsoft then we will go down into windows nt current version you will find here it's you need to stretch it a bit i think also that will be more comfortable for you guys so you see software microsoft windows nt you can orientate yourself by this current version then you will hit here multimedia system profile and there you will have here nothing you will have here only a network throttling so you will go here into um click right click new dvort 32 bit value you will call this system responsiveness responsiveness as i typed here above so you will see the basically the name come on yeah you see that that's how you will type it don't like this is the original one should be like responsive venus so that's how you type it you hit okay i have already that so you will basically have uh, also this one and you click modify and you will hit a value of zero and click okay so you will basically have one file only and it will be with zero marked so you click on modify when you hit the system responsiveness name and hit to zero then you will go also down tasks games and here as you see like system profile and tasks it's like just going deeper and deeper because like it's only the only way you can what you can get you go into clock rate um you will see here clock rate background uh, only affinity you will go into gpu priority modify and hit six the value of six you will hit here and press ok and also into the priority thing if it's another value hit also six if you have it already six it's good and that's how you will set it up this this should be everything for the system responsiveness and overall for the record that thing so overall you tweaked really good already your pc the only things that you, you can do you can hit uh, antivirus scan to clean some maybe viruses you can um as i said also um not i really said also a good thing is really to uh, install nvidia drivers and also note please guys a really important things i want you really to focus on this you will need to uninstall nvidia geforce experience you will ask me why should i delete it it's actually like updating my nvidia drivers yes it is updating your nvidia drivers but it's, it is really taking a lot of resources while you're playing fortnite and also with the new added feature of capturing highlights if you want to capture highlights, okay, you can leave it, but if you want the maximum FPS from your game and you want like really lag free gaming, you will hit here into your apps in your PC, you will find here NVIDIA GeForce, GeForce Exp Experience, you will hit it and click on install on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. I already uninstalled it, I don't use it, I know the difference between it. With NVIDIA GeForce Experience, I have 20 lower FPS, without it, I'm better. You can just uh, download the official uh, drivers from NVIDIA, the NVIDIA official NVIDIA com site. You can just go here, choose your country. Um, it's like, for example, it's me, Germany or United States. You can just go on the official site. You will go into, um, you can basically do it even from here. Drivers, GeForce drivers. You can manually search for it. If you have a 1050 Ti, 1060 and stuff like that or lower, you can search for your model in here or you can just download it once for GeForce Experience download one time, you will update your drivers and you just delete it. And later, if you will see that like in one month, there are like uh, new updates coming on Nvidia. You, I know you can forget about it, but still just check it once in a month, install the new driver, but don't really keep GeForce Experience. It's using a lot of your system resources and it's really cutting a lot of fps so basically i'm suggesting to update your video graphics uh, graphic cards drivers or amd graphic card radeon also stuff so you go into md support it's in russian let me hit in english drivers and supports 
So you will basically here also choose your value, AMD graphics, notebook or desktop graphics, hit your series and find it out. You can also automatically detect and install your drivers with AMD Radio Discrete Desktop Mobile, APU graphics download now. It's the same as Nvidia and after that if you install the drivers also delete it. Don't forget to do that because it's, it's really eating some resources. So, and also the last thing that we can do for graphic drivers, we go into NVIDIA control panel after we install the new graphic drivers. We go into adjust image settings with preview. Use my preference. You can like hit this and go into performance first, apply. And after that, you can go into use system advanced image settings. Take me there. We go into global and you will put on all the settings that I have here. Off off everywhere take all this stuff off who does all these three factors off maximum pre-rend frames only one multi sample off auto select of open gl rendering prefer maximum performance this is really important i guess available frames shader cache on texture uh texture and zero sample optimization you can go for off here. I don't know why it's off at the moment here by me. Let me quickly uh, see why it's like that. Where's that? I know sample uh, limits the number of the samples used by uh, the setting only affects the texture. Yeah, you can turn it off. I love allow to use it. High performance texture quality, high performance for sure. Texture filtering turn up the on. Red optimization on. Triple buffering off. Use vertical sync. You can basically off. You don't need that. And virtual pre-rendered frames one. And you hit apply. And that's your settings that will be used in every game you will play. You can basically also go into Fortnite and change it also into your Fortnite game. So, but basically it will be already applied from your normal settings. So th this should be also already okay. So, uh, what we have else here, configure maybe surround sound and you can uh, choose your graphics. So, for example, processor to use it. So, basically also auto recommend, but you can also hit here your graphic card, just to be sure. And that should be it for today and for this guide. We hit really everything what we can do for our PC and yeah, I hope it helped. Overall, if you will have some suggestions or also you need some help still or, or something is not working, just hit me up in the comments below. And yeah, hope you guys it helped really out and you will get really good results. Yes, guys, uh, also things that is important to mention, uh, go into your task manager before you start playing. Check out all the processes that are running, uh, who has also the heaviest load for your uh, PC. For example, if you see like, for example, here is Dreamlops OBS with 24%. So it's the highest one that's okay and if you will have like any other processes with icons that are really not needed at the moment try to close them try to find the reason and you will just sort it out by memory cpu gpu disk what is taking the heaviest resources and you should be fine so peace out guys and good luck